20 years. Wow. <laughs> I'm amazed that, you know, one of my nephews could... If you can see this many different characters... Good morning, I'm Dino Martins. I'm a scientist based at the Impala Research Center. Um, today launching the book, Grasses of East Africa. And it's been a work we've been working on for 20 years. But very excited to finally do this. And grasses are one plant that everybody knows but they don't appreciate because even now as we're standing here we're standing on, on grass but it's dry we're not appreciating it um, whenever we eat food be it ugali chapatis we're eating grass because those are members of the grass family but this is one group of plants that the entire country of Kenya needs we are dependent on these plants for our tourism industry for our wildlife industry our national parks, there are many, many thousands of birds and animals and insects that depend on grasses. And so today I'm really honored and humbled to be able to share the discoveries of different things about grasses, their natural history, and to get people excited about a group of plants that I know they don't pay a lot of attention to, but without which we would not be able to survive. So thank you so much for coming and joining and in northern Kenya. And grasses are very crucial. Because when it does start raining, the first plants that will appear will be the grass. Because they are hidden in the ground and they're able to survive and grow thanks to good stewardship of land. So Laikipia County is very lucky because it's blessed with hundreds of different species of grasses. And so the ability to survive drought is entirely connected to this group of plants. And millions and millions of people are dependent on this group of plants. Even all the conflict we are seeing right now is because there's not enough, enough grass. So grasses are really important and we all need to appreciate, understand them and connect with them. Disappearing. Kenya has almost a thousand species of grass, but there are some which are almost extinct. Meanwhile, grasses are being cultivated in other countries as a crop. Grasses which originated here in Kenya are worth millions and millions of dollars in other countries like Brazil, in the US. Meanwhile, in Kenya, we've not yet figured out how valuable they are. We really need to understand and appreciate our grasses. They are so important, they are beautiful, and we could not survive without them. In the book, The Grasses of East Africa, it's uh, sponsored by Nature Kenya and the Kenya Horticultural Society. So we have people from around Nanyuki, students and other citizens who've joined us to learn about grasses, and that's what we're doing today. Thank you.